Okay, so right now all of these machines are empty. And I want to demonstrate what happens, what a manifold actually means. So here we have the 120 coming in. And every time it splits, it goes half and half. And then it goes half and half again. So only half of it is making it to this way. This one's getting more, and this one's getting more, and this one is getting even less. So this one down here is already producing. It took longer for this one to produce. Now it's keeping up because of the way I've timed the belts, but what can happen is um, it, it, it can get to a point where it can't keep up. Um, and so the this last one will starve more frequently, like bang, just there. It's waiting. Hey, Smackin, you for just a bit got a follow. Of, well, Ander, thanks for the follow. It's waiting for a bit of all, and it's waiting for a bit of all. Whereas if we look up here, this one here, it's 26 buffered already in, in advance. Now, what does happen is as this one fills up and buffers all the way and so forth and so forth, these ones will be less starved. But it's, um, it, it is when you start, like Scanboy says, when it all starts up, it's correct. But over time, the manifold will perform the same as a load balance setup. But I did want to demonstrate to you how it all works so people can understand the difference between a manifold and a load balance.